Hello guys and welcome back to Car Focus. Do you join me on a very sunny day in a lovely village not too far from Braintree in Essex. My Focus RS is at FJRS having its service and MOT before it goes away for the winter. And in the meantime, a lovely chap that I know, who's Mark II is also at FJRS, has agreed for me to take it out and have a little test drive. Now, this car is an MR375, which is obviously the kind of goal for mine and it also has the club sport brakes the alcons on the front from mountune and it has ibac lowering springs ibac spaces like mine and it's a very low mileage car it's only done just over 16,000 miles so the car is immaculate it's in performance blue as you can see behind me but yeah he's thrown me the keys he said feel free to take it for a drive let me know what you think and yeah it's also got the jcr development seat lowering kit these Recaros are known to sit quite high on the interior, you sit quite high up. So this one's got the kit which lowers it down quite a bit. So kind of going to convey my thoughts on that as well. But I'm mainly looking forward to getting behind the wheel and just seeing what the 375 tune is actually like compared to mine. Now mine is a stage one super chip. So it's got all the stage two hardware, but it doesn't have the fueling. This one has all the hardware and it's got the six bar fuel pump, I think from Mount Tune um, and the MR375 tune. So going to be good to see what it's like. I have driven it here, I have experienced the car now, but I'm going to drive it back. It's a lovely windy road. I just wanted to get to know the car first a little bit so it was easier for me to kind of share my thoughts on what it's like. But we'll hop in the car now, take it for a drive, and yeah, I'll just basically compare it to mine, see what I think, and then uh, yeah, that's it. So I think without further ado, let's get in the car and go for a drive. Well, we are in the MR375. Mark II Focus RS, like I say, very low mileage car, 16,910 miles. Now the owner, he's not one of these guys that kind of properly mothballs it. He has actually done a big Euro trip in this car over the summer. Um, had loads of fun by the looks of things, his pictures were amazing. But it's just a, a very low mileage example he's picked up and it's very tidy. First things I noticed with cars like this, the steering wheel is just so matte. It just looks brand new, whereas mine's got that kind of shine to it now, as it's quite a bit older. The infotainment system, he's got the black edged infotainment. I think it might be out of a Mondeo or something, but it kind of blends in with the dashboard a lot better and looks a bit more modern than my silver one. But obviously everything else is the same. But another thing I have noticed due to the car being a lot fresher with less miles than mine is there's quite a few less rattles in here than mine. Mine is a quite a bit more rattly inside as it's had a lot more miles. Mine's like 52,000 miles now so it's had a lot more time to kind of loosen up and stuff. So this does feel pretty solid, pretty smooth and you can tell it's a low mile car. Anyway, so driving this car around normally is obviously the same as mine but we do have the jcr developments lowering kit in place in this car and it does make the seat just sit that bit better because you do just sit too high in the standard recaros granted you do get used to them when you're driving the car a lot but when you jump out and jump in something else where you can adjust the seat down it's definitely a better position to be in when you're sitting lower and this just kind of solves that issue i don't feel i'm too low i feel i'm perfectly sort of proportioned in the car now my head's kind of centered with a windscreen and i don't feel like i'm perched on top of the pedals like i'm driving a fiat 500 a bath or in a bath 500 should i say so yeah right so driving dynamics of the car we are running mr375 and as i said mine is running super chip stage one now my car is pretty quick but I've always felt it's kind of missing power at the top of the rev range. It feels like it's kind of a little bit starved of power at the top of the revs. It goes off very quickly, like a slap cat almost, very talky low revs, but it does tend to tail off at the end. So I'm intrigued to see if this car kind of solves that problem. Now what we'll say, just driving around on light throttle, this just seems a little bit less eager to get want to get going. Whereas mine on light throttle, it just sort of immediately, you get a lot of torque and it just kind of shoots off with very minimal throttle application. That's obviously mapping the way it's mapped. But this, I'd probably say this is smoother because mine does like to run away with itself, like I say, on light throttle, whereas this doesn't. But it rides exactly the same. We're on the same suspension, the same spaces. So in terms of the comfort and stuff, it is exactly the same as mine. Obviously this is blue. I know some of you like blue better than white, but 
I'm not really too fussed. I would have had blue, green or white to be fair. And white was the one that happened to come up. Another thing I'm noticing is when you come off the accelerator from kind of mid to high revs, this is very smooth. Mine is really choppy. Like you'll come off on mine and it'll really like <clears throat> cut the power immediately and almost kind of surge you forward a little bit. And it just feels a bit rough. Whereas the mapping on this is definitely smoother. Yeah, this thing is a rocket. A rocket. Yeah, this is no slouch though. 100% stronger towards the top of the revs. That's just what I'm missing. But yeah, it's a very smooth map. Very smooth map. And that's what mountain tune maps were like particularly back in the day they were always like an OE plus map so oh a nice big bang there actually yeah you do get a bit of torque Steve you've got to kind of hold on and grapple with the the steering wheel a bit but that's always going to be expected in a front wheel drive car especially running 375 brake horsepower now the brakes the brakes do feel on a on a, on a moderate drive pretty factory they, they feel pretty much as effective as factory as, as factory but when you really when you really stamp on them yeah they do stop very well yeah no messing about can you hear the turbo flutter under the bonnet it's basically the same as mine mount tune inlet plenum mount tune intake so yeah sounds very similar just a nice amount of flutter there though so yeah fourth gear 40 miles an hour yeah like so you've got to stamp it down but it does it does pull these these mark ii engines are just glorious the pulling power oh yes the pulling power at low revs is just yeah and it sounds beautiful while it's doing it as well jeez yeah this is this is quick this is quick and this this is definitely the sweet spot i did drive one of these a few years ago i did review it and i, I said back then it just feels like the perfect amount of power for this and i just feel with mine it needs a little bit more it just needs a little bit more and this is it this is it this is what i need definitely what i need it's not like crazy power to be throwing you all over the place but a road like this it's perfect what a beautiful road it is and you don't want to overwhelm the front end with too much power this is i'd say it's probably on the limit diff still able to work in harmony with the power you've still got your cornering grip third gear it's not braking traction in the dry i think when you're braking traction in the dry in third gear it's too much power first and second you can you can modulate but you want to stamp on third you just want to give it some in third gear you don't even need to change into second in this it's got so much torque so just round these s's here keep it in third 3000 revs just power up the hill this is epic this is epic love it love it oh guys i can't believe these cars are like as old as they are now they're like 14 years old it's just sad it's sad that they're just going to get older and older and there's going to be fewer and fewer of them on the road for people to enjoy and this is why i just want to keep hold of mine as long as possible because it's just an amazing thing there's nothing else like it now Just a thing of beauty, guys, these Mark II RSs. You've got to keep hold of them. If you've got one, do not let it go unless you really, really have to because you're going to regret it. Oh, this is a lovely car. I'm so, I'm so grateful for the owner for letting me have a little spin in this. And these brakes, these brakes are sweet. They look sweet as well. Ah, oh, beautiful, guys really enjoy this car and i'm not just saying that this is like a proper honest review of this package mr375 has always been pretty highly regarded 
and having driven it today it feels like i don't know it just feels really nice it's really smooth it just feels sorted i'm not going to be able to go true mr 375 when i do eventually get there because I, you can't get all of these fuel pumps anymore for love nor money and if you can they're ludicrously expensive so it'll be something like a collins six bar fuel pump um which will which will be the same basically and then you still can get the tune from mound tune so it is still doable but yeah i'm thinking it needs to be done it needs to be done what a car this is what a car thanks to paul the owner for lending it to me very trusting of him like he's been totally sound chucked me on the insurance he didn't even let me pay for it filled the tank up for me so like literally i couldn't have asked for a nicer bloke and your car is lovely mate it is a peach seat lowering seat lowering kit is spot on the power the brakes the mods that you've got i wouldn't take it any further it's yeah perfect anyway guys i don't think there's too much more i can say it's pretty obvious that i'm loving the car i'm going to take it back to fjrs now where it's going to have its service and then i shall hop back in mine on the way home and probably feel a little bit disappointed but more motivation to get mine to to this uh, level and i'm not far away now anyway guys that's it thanks for watching as always until the next one take care and i shall see you soon What a thing. What a thing.